but it wasn't what we were trying to achieve. But we had one more car. We finally came up with this calculation that gave us eight and a half goals. We now know that the sun is an ordinary star in a galaxy we call the Milky Way. A spiral of 200 billion stars, so big it takes light 100,000 years to cross it. Until now, the most powerful space telescope was the Hubble, and it found more galaxies than we ever knew existed. Some of them are so far away, it took their light billion hydrogen and helium and it glowed like a warm campfire. Then, for several hundred million years, there was nothing to see. Slowly, under the force of gravity, tendrils of material began to coalesce and the first stars and galaxies shone forth. We've never seen them, but they must be there. How do the stars grow from that primordial material? How do the galaxies grow? But it took a few hundred million years, maybe, for the first luminous objects to occur. The first stars, the first galaxies, the first black holes, whatever it was. He is so sensitive, it can detect the elements in the atmosphere of a transiting exoplanet by the way the light changes as it passes through that atmosphere. If there are elements necessary for life, the telescope could detect them. As a kid, hearing that we were off this frontier of being able to search for life or signs of life made me feel like there was no other uh, question worth answering. We're hoping that JWST is successful so that we can actually get some really astounding observations of these planets' atmospheres. Mm -hmm.